So guys, um, kamusta? Um, magandang hapa po sa inyo, sa inyo lahat. So kasalukuyan ay 3.29pm ng hapon. So sabi ko sa inyo na may date ako. Pero wala na madali akong date. <laughs> sa ODT kasi yung girlfriend ko. So LDR feels! LDR kami. Oh, that's so sad. So guys, let's talk about sa mga basic steps muna. For now, sabihin ko na, let's talk about muna about difference between semantics and syntax. And let's talk about rin sa pag-scan ng data in C, the scanf function. So, let's go. Um, hashtag include basic guys. Include stdio.h in main. Ganyan. So, difference guys of when we say guys syntax error, naranasan uh, din ba sa calculator? Well, we're talking about C language. When sinabi, na, sinabi natin na syntax error, that is, when we say syntax para, that is the structure of the code, structure of the program na dapat natin sundin yung parang structure niya. So, for, for para mas mag ng mabilisan, for example, of syntax error is, di ba, variable declaration, data types, when we declare a variable of type A, tapos nakalimutan natin yung semicolon, yun. That is syntax, syntax error. So, di ba? Expected, ano? Expected, initialized before talking. It is expecting kasi na, um, it is expecting a semicolon, for example, like that. Di ba? Expecting a semicolon. Kulang lang yung semicolon. That is what you call, guys, the syntax, yung structure ng, ng code. And semantics naman is, the meaning of the code. So, yun yung pinagkaiba na syntax is the structure and the semantics is the meaning. For example, guys, um, nag-declare ako ng int a is equal to c. So, kung tapa kayo, di ba mali, tama yung syntax. I've declared a data type of int, which is what we call a, is equal to c. The syntax is correct, pero... Semantically speaking, is wrong. The meaning of the code is wrong kasi mali, hindi, na, hindi ka naman pwede mag-store ng character sa data type na in. So, yun nga. Syntax ay semantically incorrect. Mali. So guys, leave lang ako ng comment dito. Kung leave lang ako ng comment para mas, mat, ano, ma, mas may guide kayo. Kung Ano example ng syntax, uh, syntax error at saka semantically error. <laughs> Tama ba spelling guys? Syntax error. Yan, examples lang yan guys. So, let's talk about scanf. So, paano nga ba mag scanf mag hingi sa user ng data? So, simple lang yan guys. Declare mo. Let's, ang unang-unang yung gagawin is, mag declare muna kayo ng empty variable. Kunwari integer h. Alright. Wala yan. Ang, ang variable name na age natin, guys, which is of type integer, is, <coughs> excuse me, is wala yan na laman. So, magkakaroon, na, 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 magkakaroon yan ng laman pag nag-ask tayo sa user. Okay? Pag nag-enter tayo ng data. So, lagay lang tayo ng label. Um, please enter your age. Oh. Kalimutan ko, always put kayo sa backslash n if you want to magkaroon ng next line. So, ano nga ba? Lagay tayo ng comment. This is how we, you scan data. Guide lang guys, guide lang. So, scan f. The function is scan f. Then, think double quotation in opening closing. Then, what is the format specifier? is percent i cause it's an integer. Diba guys? Then, ito lang yung pinagkaiba. Nalagay kayo ng ampersand, then the name of the variable. Then, semicolon. Then, tata, um, you will ask me guys, um, para saan nga ba yung ampersand? So, it is for the, ano, when we, pag nag-enter tayo guys, kunwari 5, the val yung 5 na yun mapu yun yun yung magiging mapupunta yun sa address ng age kasi guys um di ko pa to i-discuss sa inyo about address kasi just think about it guys na 
itong variable age na to, meron tong address. Basta ang address na yan, nasa computer na yan. Nasa computer na yan, kung ano man yan ang value. Basta ang value niya mga ganito, 0 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Mga ganyan-ganyan yung address na yan. Basta guys, just think about it na ang purpose lang ng ampersand nito is para dito ma-store yung value ng in-enter natin ma-store sa, sa, sa variable age. So, yun. So, then let's print it out. Print F. Um, your age is ulit percent I then space then comma sa labas then the na guys mama the variable name age so guys ulitin ko magiging value nito ng format specifier is kung ano man ito the value of age so pupunta yan dyan ganyan ganyan lang ang pag-display niya so i-run natin then just like that please enter your age so when my age is 19 so your age is 19 so yun yun lang naman guys so mag-ask kayo paano kung sa character paano kung sa boolean paano kung sa ano paano kung sa boolean double Sa bullying actually guys, wala naman, sinearch ko, I've searched the internet and sinabi, it is stated na wala daw talagang, ano, bullying kasi is used for conditions lang naman. Do, mapag-usapan natin yung pagdating natin ng pinatawag na if-else statements. So, yun guys, pag sa character guys, just change the format specifiers. For example, uh, by example, character age. Oh, Ito natin, character, letter. Please enter your letter. Just ganyan lang guys. Um, just change the format specifiers. Diba? Letter, format specifier for character is percent C. Percent C, then variable name. Diba? Yes, nyo. Then, yun. Please enter your letter. Let letter. My letter is capital A, uppercase A. Your letter, letter, ay H. Oh, nakalagay kasi dito H. Ulitin natin, guys. So, it's no big deal. Pareho lang naman. So, please enter your letter. My letter is A. Your letter is A. So, guys. And guys, kung gusto nyo matry yung, no, yan, naman, yan na lang yung gawin kong challenge sa inyo. Kayo na naman ang gumawa niyan. So, challenge ko na sa iyo na mag-scan ng, mag ng flow, double, long, ganyan. Just yun. Ang gagawin, gagawin nyo lang naman is change nyo lang naman yung format specifiers and yung mga labels. So, guys, and one thing pa pala. Gusto lang akong i-add sa inyo. Baka malito kayo sa part na to. So, when we say kasi guys, when we declare a character, what if ganito, character is equal to 4. So, ano yung, di ba number ang 4? Di ba number ang 4? So, ano yung kayo guys, is, four, is this 4 considered a integer, an integer or a character? Well, it is considered a character. Tandaan nyo guys, anything that is inside the single quotation opening single quotation and closing single quotation is considered a character. Nandan nyo yung guys ha? It is considered a character. So, kung gusto nyo ng proof, dahil i-print natin. So, yan. Comment lang. Comment ko lang ito ha? Comment ko lang yan para hindi siya mabasa. Then, print F per, um, percent C, right? Percent C then the variable name. Oh! Um, mali. Um, yun, tama kayo. Siguro nag-gets na kita nyo yung mali ko doon. And wala pala akong variable name. So, CH lang. Then, CH. Let's run. Diba? 4. Actually guys, makita nyo yan 4. Pero, it is a, it is a character. It is, ano ba? It is a character. Pero, 
it, pero yung isipin nyo, ah, four, it's an uh, integer yan. Pero hindi, deep inside, it is a character, guys. It's a character. Basta tandyan na lang na anything that is inside that single quotation mark, open and close, is considered as a character. So, yun lang, guys. Um, thank you for watching this video tutorial. I hope na may natutunan kayo. And, comment nyo lang kung Comment lang kayo guys if you have further questions and yung challenge ko sa inyo ha, yung pag scan F ng bull, ay ng, ng double and float, long, so challenge ko na yun sa inyo. At least guys, na practice, nagkaroon kayo ng practice. So, again guys, thank you and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks!